Hello everyone, today we're going to learn how to create a pixel sorting effect. This effect gives your images a futuristic and distorted look, taking them to the next level. So if you're looking to add an artistic touch to your designs, stay with me until the end of this tutorial. We're going to learn some really cool stuff, so let's get started. Welcome to another video on your own channel Resource Boy. I'm Mary and today I'm here with a very simple, fun and useful tutorial. Uh, we're going to learn how to create a neat effect and apply it to our photos. So let's jump right in and first of all open an image in your Photoshop. If you like the image I'm using you can download it from the link in the description and follow along. Uh, in the first step go to the image menu, image rotation and select um, 90 degrees clockwise to rotate the image. Now we're ready to dive into the next step. So now we come to the background layer, we select duplicate layer, select OK. And now we have two copies of our layer right here. Next, we go to the filter options, choose stylize and then select wind. So um, guys, the wind effect is selected. As you can see here, we can view its preview. We set the method to uh, stagger and the direction to uh, from the right because we want the pixels to cascade from that direction just like a fountain. So we click OK. Uh, you can now see the effect applied to the image. Now I want to apply this wind effect multiple times to my image. As you may know, the wind effect has been added here because the last effect applied in Photoshop shows up in this area. If I click on that again, you see that the effect is applied once more. So there's no need to go back into the menu. You can also use the shortcut or control F or control F on older Photoshop versions to repeat the effect. Uh, so by using Alt, Control and F, we can apply this effect over and over again. Pay attention to how the pixels are um, moving. Just see how interesting it is. The movement is fantastic. So uh, the pixels get distorted in a very unique way. When you're happy with the result, you can just stop. For example, I think the amount looks great for my image. Now I want to rotate the image back to the original position. We go to image rotation and this time select 90 degrees counterclockwise to return the image to the um, initial state. So as you see, what's happened is very interesting. Now we're going to customize it a bit and make it even better. So I press control J to duplicate the layer. Since we still want to apply more effects, um, I'm going to just put names for them one and two. Now we go ahead into filter and choose filter gallery from the effects right here uh, we select stylize and then choose glowing edges uh, so click on it and now you can adjust the values based on what you prefer for your image uh, which um, I think a setting of um, one four and one looks good for my image so I click OK and just look at that. Uh, now the effect has been applied in this way. So I'm going to change the layer mode from normal to light. And notice how the pixels have become brighter and more pronounced. Uh, also, they look much more thick if you pay attention to this part right here. So uh, you can also reduce the opacity to blend the effect a little. So see how it looks now. So I'm going to slightly adjust the shape uh, right here like this. And um, I drag it towards down behind the background layer. So um, I have my uh, two layers right here, which I'm going to switch them on and select them with control and right click and create a clipping mask. So you can see that now these two layers are clipped together like this and I can easily move my shape around here or make adjustments that will change the area where the effect is applied. So. Um, Next, uh, I'll add a hue saturation adjustment. So I click on it and you can see that I can change the color and saturation right here or just play around with various settings to create an attractive and interesting poster. Uh, you can do many different and exciting things with this effect. You're completely free 
and honestly it's up to you. you can just have some patience and get to some fantastic futuristic results so i hope you enjoyed watching this video the tutorial was very simple yet appealing and practical i hope you can use this tutorial in your designs i appreciate your support for this video and if you're interested in this kind of tutorial make sure to subscribe so you can catch our future videos thank you so much for visiting resource boy uh there you will find many free videos that they can help you in your creativity and thank you so much one more time and take care to one more video